everyone, this is Uma coming to you on Sunday, January 21st with your daily Twin Flame reading. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, I do a daily general reading every day as well as a daily Twin Flame reading for couples that are in union and in separation. Welcome to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and if you hit the little bell, then you will always know when I'm on because you will get a notification. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Twin flame warriors to see what Sunday brings. Timestamp 33 seconds in. Divine masculine, how does he feel about his divine feminine today? Thank you. We have attraction. We've been feeling this for a while, right? We've been pulling this card for the divine masculine for a while. Okay, so attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So Divine Masculine is feeling his Divine Feminine. And depending on where he is spiritually, he could either be reaching out to her or he could just be thinking of her. And because he's thinking of her, she's thinking of him. You know, that little roundabout thing that we do. Someone's thinking about, it's like telephone, right? Someone's thinking of someone and then, you know, it just goes that way. Okay, so let's see his clarifiers. Some more information, please, Spirit, about... Okay, so we're going to take the first one. I mean, actually, they're all good. So we're just going to take the set. I don't usually have all of these, but here we go. Nine of Earth. He is happy within himself. The Nine of Earth is a singles card, but not single and looking. It's single and just... I'm chilling, I'm doing my thing, I'm working hard, I'm focusing on my life, so he's in a good place. So that's where you want him to be. You don't want him to be negative or depressed. Sometimes women say, well, I hope his life is crap without me and then he'll miss me. You don't want him to come back to you if his life is crap, okay? You'd like to know that his life is going well and even amidst all that, where everything's going well, he still thinks about you. That's what you want. Okay, Seven of Water talks about making decisions. So again, he's making a decision concerning his Divine Feminine about where he wants to go and how he wants to proceed. That's still very positive for you. King of Air, he's thinking very objectively. He's no longer in his emotions. So if you guys were fighting and, you know, things were said and he acted in a huff and a puff and this and that, he's no longer there anymore. Okay? He's in a great place. And then Ace of Fire talks about new opportunities at work, career advancement. So again, he's in a good place in his life, and that's a really good thing. That's a really good thing because, again, if he comes back to you or when he comes back to you or when he communicates to you, you want him to be in a good place and not, you know, everything's going crappy, and now let me take it out on her. And luckily for some of you, reunion card, Three of Water. For me, Three of Water is the reunion card, the return of an ex. So for some Divine Masculines, he is ready to make that commitment. He is ready to step out and reach out to his Divine Feminine and let her know. That's good news all around. I mean, you can't fight that. Okay, timestamp, 3 minutes, 33 seconds in for Divine Feminine. Do you see how the Divine... Wow, I didn't even shuffle, right? And you saw those two just fell out. So here we go. Finances and career and free yourself. Okay, Divine Feminines, what are you guys doing? Are you stressing? Stop stressing. Stop stressing. For some of you, you want to travel to see your divine masculine and finances are an issue. For some of you, like this unicorn, you are stuck in this roundabout, very small roundabout encaged area and your mind is going round and round and round and round. So. Divine Feminines, you're going to want to stop thinking about your Divine Masculines today. Not a good day. And if you're feeling stuck, like you want to go see him, but your money is, you know, you're having issues with your money or your career, you know, don't make statements. Make questions. Okay, I would like to go see my Divine Masculine. How can that happen? Spirit, can you make that happen, please? You know, that's what you want to do. Okay, here's your clarifiers. Spirit is reminding you, this is a union deemed by God. This is a twin flame card. So again, for those of you struggling or having restrictions in your mind, the unity card talks about be more spiritual. 
join a spiritual organization, seek out like-minded friends, right? When I get this card for myself, I start signing up for classes and spiritual development, you know, like I, I'm here with Deepak Chopra this weekend, right? So the thing is, is you want to do something more spiritual because the feelings that you're feeling, being stuck with your finances and your career, being stuck in your mindset, it's not real. It's based off of your stuckedness. So get out of it. Allow yourself to meditate. Allow yourself to do yoga and just get out of it. Okay. Ace of Earth talks about inflow of abundance. So your career life, your money life can actually get better if there's a change of mindset. And Spirit is saying, look to the future, look to the horizon, be more lighter, be more positive, allow your situation to expand. In addition with that, you have the emperor coming in. Now, when the emperor comes in, he brings logic and control, structure and discipline. So have you not been using the emperor's energy? Have you been kind of lackadaisical, lying around, being unorganized, right? Today is the day to be more organized, to focus on your finances, your career, and to maybe leave it alone with the divine masculine. Stop thinking about it, overthinking it, because I'm telling you, he's feeling you. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not real. Okay, he's feeling you, and you need to know that. All right, great reading. Or the Divine Feminine, it's more like a, I told you so, right? Timestamp for Twin Flames in Union, 6 minutes, 30 seconds. Twin Flames in Union, what is your day like today? Chemistry, ooh la la. Okay. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So twin flames in union, you guys are feeling each other. You guys are feeling each other. All right, let's see what you guys got. We have one, four of air, ten of air, very good, guys. All right, I'm going to go with the card that's facing up because we had a bunch of jumpers. Okay, so here we go. Justice. Four of air talks about taking some time, meditating, taking a time out, maybe even taking a vacation. So for some of you twin flames in union, you're feeling that magnetic attraction to each other. You're feeling very romantic. You're planning a trip together. You're getting very excited. Or you're just taking time out, either together or by yourselves. And in doing so, it strengthens the attraction between you two. You've overcome some difficulty with ten of air. You've overcome some difficulty, old mindsets, old negative ways of thinking, old patterns, and you're allowing yourself to breathe and to move on. With this card, you're also overcoming addictions. So for some of you, you're actually overcoming addictions. You know, you've put the bottle down, you've put the drugs away, you've, and you know, addictions don't have to be so hard. It could be codependency. It could be ad addicted to negative thinking, right? Being a pessimist. So it could be a bunch of different things. And then we have the justice card, which talks about karma being served, wrongs being righted, things working out. So the reason why you guys are in a great place right now is because it was deemed so by God. Okay, this is your time in the sun. This is your time to shine. This is your time to express love to each other and show love to each other. So that's why you have the justice card. It's beyond you guys. It's spiritual intervention. It's angelic intervention on your behalf. All right. Timestamp, 9 minutes, 9 seconds for Twin Flames Separated But Communicating. Separated But Communicating. 9 minutes, 9 seconds. And thank you to the guys, to, to lovely people who um, actually timestamp these for me and put them in the, in the video comments. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Ooh, codependency. We were just talking about that with Twin Flames in Union. So now we have Twin Flames Separated and Communicating. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So for those of you who came on here today asking, why are we not back together? Spirit is saying because one or both of you is still not healed, right? Either you are addicted to drugs and alcohol or you're addicted to 
being codependent, right, um, with each other or with other people. So that's why you're not together. Let's get some more clarification for twin flames separated and communicating. Oh. One. We have the Empress. The moon and the star. Beautiful. All major arcana. So what I want to tell you guys right off the bat is this too shall pass. The Empress talks about nurturing yourself. She talks about lavish abundance. So focus on yourself. Stop focusing on the other person. So I'm really feeling that those of you that are separated and communicating, you're trying to jump the gun. You're trying to rush it. And this is a journey. It's not a destination. As you can see with the Twin Flames in Union, it's not like, oh, life is just hunky-dory fine. We're just sailing. No, it's still work. So you can ease that and have a better time like the ones in Union by working on yourself now. So the first thing is Spirit wants to tell you, have faith, don't give up, you're on the right path. So if you're frustrated, if you're not you know, happy because you're not getting your way, trust me, I know, this was me a couple weeks ago when I was like, when are we doing this? When are we doing this? You know, we're finally doing it, but it didn't help with me pushing. And I wish I'd paid more attention to this card because Spirit is saying it's coming, just be patient. Spirit is also saying this is a time of developing your inner knowing, right? Because your codependency really stems from anxieties and fears. You wanting them to validate you, you wanting them to make you feel secure, that's never going to happen. You have to make yourself feel secure. And the only way you're going to do that is get to know your person, get to know yourself so that you can intuitively speak on your situation. I remember I had a friend who um, I was meeting my twin flame. This is when we like first got back together and I was meeting my twin flame for dinner and I'm like, oh, do you think he'll let me sleep over? And she's like, no, the chances of that are very minimal. But, you know, despite her negativity, it didn't matter because I knew my person. I knew me. I knew our situation. And sure enough, that night he's like, oh, do you want to come back to, you know, to my house and let's have drinks? And sure enough, I ended up, I ended up that was the beginning of us. You know, we got right back into our relationship. So you have to know your person, you have to know you, and you can't listen to other people's influences. This is your relationship with your person. So start trusting. And again, take care of yourself. Because you are no good to anybody if you are not taking care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself, okay? All right, so finally. And you know, but I, I really want to let you guys know that you got the best cards right now. So what well, we're going to do, Twin Flames... Um, separated and not communicating, but for you guys out of the Twin Flames and Union and you, you got the best cards. You got all major arcana. So clearly spirit is working on your behalf. All right. Stop pouting and be better about it. Okay. Timestamp for Twin Flames separated, not communicating 1313. Too many cards, Spirit. Just one card. There we go. We have engagement. You guys are doing it. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, the signs are there, right? The signs are there. Now, I love when people write in and like, well, this is not applying to me. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. Either that person you're inquiring about is not your twin flame, or I am not the reader for you, okay? So you got to pay attention to that, guys. If these things aren't applying to you, I'm not the reader for you. Stop following along. Or the person you're inquiring about is not a twin flame, because we only do readings for twin flames here. Not soulmates, not karmic couples. We just do re relationship readings for twin flames. So for those of you that are in twin flame relationships, you're separated, not communicating, have faith because your love life is about to ascend to a higher level of commitment. And there you go. I didn't even have to do anything. All three fell out. Six of earth, reciprocity. You're not just giving, giving, giving. You will start receiving. Queen of water. It says on there, relationships develop to a new level. The same thing the engagement card said. Talks about nurturing self, nurturing others. So being that you can't communicate to your twin, you want to make sure you're nurturing yourself. And we have page 
of water, a new person entering your life or a relationship beginning a new phase. So for those of you separated and not communicating, it is very important right now that you keep your vibration high, you stay positive, you tune out all the negative Nancys in your life because your reunion is here. And even if it's not like an automatic reunion, it could just be something simple as them coming back and starting communication again. But you need to stay positive and stay high vibe about it. Okay, mantra 1534, twin flames all around <laughs> satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. We can pretty much sum up today's reading by that, right? It's all about your self-work. It's about taking care of you. I was at the bar last night talking to someone that I met here at the Deepak Chopra um, meditation retreat. Um, actually, it wasn't a bar. <laughs> Let me not say it like that. Like, oh, I'm at a meditation retreat and we're at a bar. No, we were actually at a restaurant and we were... Um, sitting at the bar area because there was nowhere else to sit. So we were eating our dinner at the bar area. But she was talking about her relationship. And she was just talking about, you know, what he wasn't doing. And he, he's the fault. He's the fault. And I'm looking at her and I'm like, no, you know, you attract to you what you are. So if you're finding so much fault, what don't you like about him? And she listed some things. And I'm like, so how are you this? And how are you that? And she's like, oh, I, I do. I could see that. So whatever it is that you don't like in your twin is what you don't like within yourself. Start to find that satisfaction within you and watch your twin flame story change. All right, that is Uma's tidbits of wisdom. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending your Sunday morning with me. I hope you guys have a great day according to the cards. I know you will. And um, I look forward to reading your comments below. For those of you that are new to my channel, please feel free to hit subscribe so that you can know, you can get a notification every time I post a, a video. If you could actually click the bell, then whenever I post a video, you will get notification. But if you just hit subscribe, um, you'll get an email whenever my videos go up. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great, blessed Sunday. I'll see you again tomorrow.